Let's take a look at the financial statements themselves. Quick revision. We've spoken about the fact that the format of your financial statements, your AFS, come from FRS, your International Financial Reporting Standards. If you can't remember that, go back to some revision. We said that the conceptual framework told you that there were qualitative characteristics. In order for the information to be useful, it had to be relevant. It has to be faithfully represented. It also needed to be comparable, understandable, verifiable, and timely. If you don't remember that, go back and take a look at the videos again. And that the going concern is an underlying assumption. In other words, we assume that everything is going to carry on as it is at the moment. The financial statements, the actual reports that you're going to be giving your user, we have a statement of profit or loss and other on comprehensive income. It's a very long title <laughs> and we will generally shorten this a little bit. So your, um, your financial statements, your start off is your statement of profit or loss and on comprehensive income. You're going to have to get very comfortable with these terms and these names you're going to be using a lot. This discusses the performance for the year. We'll get into detail later. Your statement of financial position is the position that you have at the end of the year. So the performance throughout the whole year and the position that you have at the end of the year. We also have the statements of changes in equity, which indicates the changes in ownership and how much money belongs to the owners themselves. Again, we'll get into detail later. And the statements of cash flows shows the movement of cash within the business. So these are our main sets of financial statements, statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income, statement of financial position, statement of changes in equity and statement of cash flows. The two that we're going to focus most on in this particular course are these two, our statement of profit or loss and our statement of financial position. When we look at these, these are your two most common standards or common statements, and we've got to be very careful that we're comfortable with this. Your statement of profit and loss discusses the performance that you had over the year. It discusses how you did throughout the year, your income and your expenses. Whereas your statement of financial position is what's going on right at the end of the year. So it's like taking a photo of your business right on the very last day of the year. It doesn't tell you, you know, how many sales you made on day one or day two or day three or day four. It just tells you this is where you are now. This is how much money you have. This is how much money you owe other people. This is how much money that um, has been invested in your company. So it really just gives you balances and it tells you like a little photo, a little snapshot of what's happening at the end of the year. Whereas your performance, your statement of profit or loss, tells you this is what happened on day one and two and three and four and five and it collects all, all of it up together, it adds it together and it says at the end of the year you're total sales for the year with this. So we'll get very comfortable with the difference between these two. This is your performance and this is about your position.